Hey YouTubers, uh, this video is a video response for Chief Michael, who is, um, it appears has been a victim of a uh, hack and pack. <clears throat> Let me tell you what's going on here, man. Um, first off, you showed me, um, I think it was this hole up at the front of the Raiders support. Hopefully it wasn't a hole that was just caused by rust. Um, but there is a hole here at the front of the radiator, or right behind the radiator support. The radiator support is that big piece where the radiator goes in, right? So if that's the hole that you were pointing at, which I think it was, it's supposed to be there. And a little rust flaking off the frame is not a big deal. It's very thick steel. That being said, you showed me, and what concerned me the most was this area which is the uh, the mounting bracket for the lower control arm. Now, it appeared when you showed up inside of there that all this rust was, or that this was uh, rusted to the point where part of the frame was missing. That is, that's dangerous my friend. Um, <clears throat> if that weakens the integrity of this um, this lower control arm bracket and in that case this could easily snap off at any time and if you're in the middle of a turn you gotta imagine if the car is turning that way right the inertia of the car wants to go this way but the wheel is taking it this way so there's a tremendous amount of force on that lower control arm bracket it's wanting to come this way. Right? Yeah, the car's wanting to go this way. But the bracket's going to want to come this way. You could lose that whole wheel, man. I mean, it could just buckle. And likewise, if it's on the inside of the turn, it could buckle right underneath the car. Either way, it's dangerous. Um, I wouldn't recommend driving it like that. Um, and I'll tell you, I was in a similar situation with my, my 1992 Mustang GT race car. I raced it for two seasons and it held up, but then I went to try to restore it and I pulled the fender off and the whole front frame, subframe was gone. It was holding together, but it was not safe and I'm glad I wasn't driving down the road like that. <clears throat> now, you asked about the repair. The repair is a lot of work. Um, the parts aren't too expensive. You're probably only looking at, I don't know. 100 bucks, 200 bucks for parts the most. Because it looked like this it looked like this uh, bracket was good, but you're going to need to replace this whole front this whole front piece of subframe as far back as it is rusted. And that's going to require a competent welder with a TIG welder. It's not something you can cheap out on. It's not something you can just MIG with a 110 MIG welder. You need to get a high... Uh, it might be doable with MIG, but my recommendation would be to go with TIG. You're going to need to weld in that new piece of subframe. Now, to do that, you're going to need to pull the engine to get the weight off the front of the car. You're going to need to take apart the entire suspension on this side because that bracket is going to need to be removed from the subframe and reattached. There's also brake lines and all kinds of other considerations when you're talking about pulling apart that front suspension. And you're going to need to pull this entire inner fender apron. See the inner fender apron attaches to the frame rail. You're replacing that frame rail, you need to pull this, the entire front suspension, including the, you know, all these bolts for the, uh, for the uh, suspension uh, tower, or the shock tower, the mount for the, uh, for the um, sway bar are going to need to be transferred to the new piece. The, uh, um, What's this called? This, uh, this bar. I can't remember what the heck it's called. That needs to be transferred. 
along with the piece of frame that it's in and or replaced if necessary. It's a big job. Uh, the good news is, you know, it's mostly labor. Um, what I mean is, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's certainly something that you and a buddy could do in a weekend. Um, you just can, you really need to get someone that's real competent with a TIG welder to weld in that new piece of frame. Um, sorry about the bad news, but I mean, I, I, I tell you, maybe it's not as bad as it looks on the video, but from what I saw in the video, it looks unsafe to drive. So that's my recommendation would be to take it off the road and get a new uh, frame rail put in and check the other side. And I think you'll find that if you pull off that, uh, that uh, if you take a chisel and get that bondo off of that frame rail, that, that I'm sure that bondo is hiding probably holes or a big old crack in a frame. That's not good, man. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Um, yeah. Give me a yell if you have any questions. If I can help in any way, let me know. Good luck, man.